Hi everybody, I know I haven't made a video in a really long time again. Um, I still can't get my camera to work. It's still being stupid. So I'm just using my webcam and I don't really like using my webcam because my computer gets really loud really fast. So we'll see how this goes. But I thought I would do a quick um, book haul. Now these are books I've gotten over I don't even know how long and I'm sure there's more over in my to be read pile I have over there that um, aren't over here but this is what I have right now so I'm gonna start with the ones I've already read and the one I'm currently reading um, I got The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky and I got this because I knew it was gonna be a movie and I really wanted to read it and I really liked it it was really good um, I'm interested to see how they do the movie since the whole thing is, you know, in letters and whatnot. But it was a very good read, so. Um, the next one is Rot and Ruin by Jonathan May May Mayberry. I don't know. But, um, I just finished this one yesterday and it was really good. It's about zombies. Yeah. Um, I love the tagline. It is, this book is full of hearts. They just don't beat anymore. So yeah, it was really good. Uh, if you open that, yeah. So I really liked it. It's different. So, and then I ordered this off of Amazon because one of the other books I'll show you, um, you know, I, I got it at Barnes and Noble, and they do that. You might like this, and this looked interesting. So it is the sad tale of the brothers Grossbart by Jesse Bullington. Um, I just started this yesterday, and. It's written interestingly, like, it's a little bit hard to read, and I think it's just the style that it's written in, because, um, like, usually when it, because it, when it switches from one person to another point of view, it, you know, it doesn't have the lines or anything, so it's a little hard to read, but it's not that bad. So, I, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I can read the back. Um, the year is 1364. Hungry, hungry creatures stalk the dark woods of medieval Europe, and both sea and sky teem with unspeakable horrors. There is no foulness, however, nor, no witch nor demon, to rival the grave-robbing twins Hegel and Manfred Gospar. This is their tale, sad but true. So, it's quite interesting. It is definitely an adult book. Um, just be aware of that. And I, I love the cover cool. So, yeah. Okay. The next book I got is Divergent, which I'm sure everyone has heard about. Um, I haven't read this one yet. I'm done with all the books that I have read and whatever. Like I said, I'm sure there's more over there that I haven't done in a haul, but I don't feel like going through them all. So, yeah. Got this by Veronica Roth. Um, I haven't, like I said, I haven't read it yet. I do plan on it. So... Yes, I'm not going to bother reading the back or anything because it's hyped enough that I think everybody knows what it is. And then this next book I got from, it's an ARC. I got it for from Library Thing. I believe the members giveaway. And it is called The Homecoming of Samuel Lane. And it doesn't look like there's really a thing on the back at all. But um, I can't really remember what it's about at this point. Um, but, yeah, and it went on sale, uh, July 10th, so this is out now, woo, <laughs> yeah, but, okay, the next one I got is the second in the Chaos Walking series, the Ask and the Answer, the first one is The Knife of Never Letting Go, and I love that one, and I kind of forgot that I got this, so excited to read this now because I just kind of pulled out my two Barnes and Noble bags I had sitting around for when I finally got around to making a haul video. Whoops. I dropped it. Um, but yeah, I won't read the back of this since it's a sequel, but um, I believe I have a review up of The Knife of Never Letting Go, so if you're interested in that, it's a very, very good read. So, um, The next one that I got is Strange Angels and Betrayals by Lily St. Crow, and I believe this, yeah, this is, um, the first two novels in this series. Um, 
And I'll read the back. It says, A sixth sense that drives her from town to town to hunt ghosts, vampires, wolf, and even the occasional zombie. But Drew's life changes forever when her father is killed and evil literally comes knocking on her back door. She goes on the run on a cold Dakota night before arriving at the safe haven, or deadly trap, of a school for wolf and and I, I'm not sure how they are pronouncing that word, um, like jam fear, I guess? Um, Drew is beginning to realize that the touch may not be the only special power she possesses, for the tables have been turned and now Drew's the one being hunted. She's got only two people she can trust, Gothward Graves, whose wolf bite has changed his nature, but not his feelings for Drew, and Protective Chris Christophe? Christoph? I don't know. Who uses razor sharp fangs to take out anyone who so much as sniffs in Drew's direction. Trouble is, Graves and Christophe Christoph don't trust each other, and when stakes this high, there's no room for distraction. Not if she's going to stay alive long enough to choose between them. So, of course, paranormal romance. Um, this is why I, I do believe. Um, I know there's another book that I just remembered that I got that I've been reading, but I'm not sure where it ended up. I don't know. But it's um, the Morganville Vampires, and it's the first two in the series, and I'm liking it so far, so. And the last one that I have over here that I'm quite excited about, and this is the one that, um, when I went to Barton Noble, they recommended the sad tale of the Brothers Gross Bart, and it is called Brave Story by Miyuki Miyabe, and it is translated from Japanese. It's a very large book, and it's like, this, it's one of those deceptively heavy paperbacks, um, I love the cover art on this. I mean, like, seriously, look at that. Even the side. This. I'm seeing. Okay, I'm better. Nope. Okay. Anyway. But, um. It, it looks really, really interesting. Like, I know I had picked this book up before I actually bought it. And I just. Um, never got it. But the back says, Young Wataru flees his messed up life to navigate the magical world of vision, a land filled with creatures both fierce and friendly. His ultimate destination is the Tower of Destiny, where it's so, like this, it's hard to read, where a goddess await, a fate awaits. Only when he has finished his journey and collected five elusive gemstones will he possess the demon's bane, the key that will grant him his most heartfelt wish. The wish to bring his family back together again. So, yeah, it sounds really cool. I'm pretty excited about it. It's going to be a long read, but that's okay. It is uh, 816 pages, so it's definitely a it, it's definitely an undertaking. But it looked good, so I thought I would read it. Um. Well, I guess that's the end of my haul video. Um, if you would like to see a review of either Perks of Being a Wallflower or Rod and Ruin, you can go ahead and leave a comment down below. And as always, if you have any questions or comments or recommendations or anything, you can leave those down below as well. So, thank you for watching. Bye.